Hi friends, it's Helena. Look what I made. I made this video using OpenArt's new Story Builder. The Story Builder is great because it's not only a super easy to use feature to one shot kind of okay quality publishable videos, but also we can use it in our real production scenarios. After watching this video, you'll be empowered with the tools to visualize any story that you have in mind. For this video, I had an inspiration to make like an anime sequence opening for the new channel Helena AI. And you guessed right, the inspiration came from Grog companion Annie. I have a video where I chatted with her if you're wondering what that looked like. So to do that, we first need to create like a really hype, inspiring, upbeat sort of anime theme song in Japanese. I did this with Suno. On Suno, when you try to create a song, your default on this tab, which is the simple mode, um, we'll have to go to custom mode for this where we'll be able to describe our lyrics and the style of the music. For the lyrics, make sure we say it should be singing in Japanese, um, anime theme song for Helena AI, spirit about adventure, and in the style of Sword Art Online opening. And then for style, it's very similar. We really have to stress uh, Japanese anime. So I did it once and realized I forgot to add singing in Japanese, so I got a song in English. The song's pretty good, but we really need the language to be Japanese. So I did it again and quickly got something I was really satisfied with. Helena, I And now how do we take this to open our story builder? It's a little hard for me to remember which song I liked on Suno, so I usually thumbs up it. And then we click this button, this share button. That's going to give us a link that's copied the clipboard. Then go to open art, find the one click story tab. For this, we'll click music video. For the song, we can either paste a link or upload a file. When we paste the link, it's going to prompt us to get a Suno link. So we'll put it in. Then you'll see this pop up with the soundtrack editor. It basically caps us out at 60 seconds, which is usually good enough. And I'll just drag it to the very beginning. We can click play to do a sanity check. Sounds good. Confirm. Step two, we'll select a mode. We have three modes, style, story, and sync. Style is kind of like when you have a soundtrack and you just want to throw in random visuals just to kind of accompany it. For sync, um, there's going to be heavy lip sync involved. It lets us select a character and then we'll get a singing music video of that character. What we're using today is going to be story. Then we're given two choices for story. We can either do auto story or a one star story. So the one star story basically means we'll also get to put in a character, but right now it doesn't support multiple characters yet. So it's a one star story. We only have one character. That's a current limitation. I'm pretty sure soon enough we'll have multiple star story. For now, even just with one star, it makes our production a lot easier. What we see here under my characters are the character models that you've trained before. And we also have community characters that are provided by OpenArt. We can also add a custom character. 
I made her based on the animated version of Helena AI, but I turned her into anime. Create character. And now this character is selected. When you add a character this way, this character actually doesn't stay in your workspace. You don't have a character model like the other ones. You only have one reference image. This might sound a little confusing, so let me explain this better. If we come to advanced settings, we'll see it. here we can select image model. We have a character option that's grayed out, and we have all the other options. And all these other options are actually based on one single reference image only. If you select a trained character, so this is a character model, not just one image, and we come down here, we'll see that the character option becomes selectable because this is a model. This is just an image. But when it's a model, we can also use all the other options. How it works underneath is just that instead of using your entire character model, it'll only use one default image. So usually all of these other choices that are only based on one image might be lower quality than the character option, but it's not always true. So let's go back to our single image character. This has its upside. For most use cases, this actually saves you the credits from training an entire character model. So you can safely go with this unless you have really high standards for your character having a good variety of facial expressions that are in your training data set or if you need really good knowledge of all angles of your character, including the back, because we don't get knowledge of the back of your character from just one single image. Now we'll put in the story topics. This doesn't have to be very long. You don't have to write it out like an image prompt or a video prompt because the feature does it for you. We just have to describe the general idea. But I still try to go a little more detailed. The girl fights in Japanese anime style with a sword. I described a few example scenes like dashing through the forest, running with a brown wolf, um, fighting above the ocean, and stuff like that. Don't forget to check your on the correct aspect ratio, horizontal or vertical, and we'll select a video model. Usually I find clean to work better if you're looking for the 3D anime style. If you want like the Japanese 2D style, high low is pretty good um, but just to demo the feature let's go with clean but i'm expecting us to get the 3d rendering style instead of the really flat anime style as it's generating it's just going to keep on running in the background we can go do anything else so this is the video that we got from one shot There were quite a few weird clips, but we really just got an entire one minute video from like doing nothing. So I'm not complaining. And the best part about this is we get an online editor here that we can easily use to fix any weird clips. I have another video explaining the basics of working with this editor. I'll put a link in the description to give a super quick overview here. If we want to change any clip, like I found this one super weird, um, we just have to find the clip, click it, and then on the right side, we'll see a little generation model. Um, there we'll be able to regenerate the image and then the video clip, and it'll swap out what's on the timeline for us. Another thing you can do with the editor is you can use it as a storyboard. We just have to click this tab, and we'll see all the split scenes here, so we could also work with um, regenerating each clip like this. 
On this tab, we can also select different image models and video models just to test things out. We'll just use the storyboard as our playground. So this is what we one-shotted with Hilo. It's not bad. I like the ending especially. It's like kind of a good ending, you know? So we'll use this storyboard. The very first frame I think should be much more impactful than this. So I rewrote the prompt. And this is slightly better. Let me just reroll a few more times. So the most important thing that I want to get here is I want her to be in the left third of the frame because um, if we don't prompt for the composition, they always put the character in the center. And if you get more of that, it just looks more and more AI and it's not really like that artistic. So I would actually just click it like four times so that we can have more options. Okay, she's a little too happy. So I actually fed the prompt into ChatGPT and got like a much more complicated prompt. When we make a prompt like that, we'll see we don't have the add character name thing anymore and we need to include that. So I'll just find a place where she's mentioned and add that. Just make sure we have at least one. We try a few more. I go with this image. I feel like there's potential there for the video. The girl turns around rapidly and takes out a crystal blue sword to freeze the flames in the back. This is not bad. It kind of did what I asked it to. I'd probably add more descriptions to stress that this is Japanese anime, so it would make the actions more suitable. And usually I just click it two or three times, so at least when we wait, they're generating in parallel. And while we wait on those, we can also go work on any of these other scenes. And this is just the best, so it makes our work so much more productive. I hop between all of these scenes. And then for um, when there are certain things that kind of just don't make sense, like for example, I don't know where this character showed up, we can just click the delete button and that scene can be gone because we might not necessarily need this. And at any time we can switch back to the timeline view and you'll see that because we deleted one clip, now the music, the 60 second music is longer than how much video footage we have and that's okay because when I make videos I like to use this feature as a speed boost um, in the end I'm still bringing it into another editor to do the final touch-ups so this is totally okay and it actually leaves me some space to make clips using other methods this is a screenshot I took from the Sword Art Online opening and we put our character image and I just told ChatGPT to swap the boy with the girl and we got this image, which I think could make a pretty good scene so that there's some sort of a story where it's like you have downtimes, but you're not giving up and you're always going on new adventures. So we'll download this picture, go to the Open Art Videos tab. And we'll put this image here and let me see if I can recreate the Sword Art Online scene. Okay, okay, so it's raining and the camera just moved down a little vertically. 
Choose the higher resolution. Kind of recreated the scene pretty nicely. All right, we'll use that. It turns out adding Japanese anime fight scene really helps. A lot of these clips are pretty good. And I also just redid the hovering video. So this is the original. It's a little weird. She kind of like just like lands on um, the stage. But I wanted her to dash up and have more motion. And so something like this is much more majestic. And then now if we look at these scenes, right? We'll notice that the order doesn't really make that much sense anymore. Like we have the fire here and then she's suddenly in the forest. What's really helpful is that we can actually drag these clips to change the sequence. I'm going to drag this kind of watery clip up. And work on that. Add Japanese anime fight scene. Much better. This video prompt is more complicated. Japanese anime fight scene. The camera arcs around the girl with big shaky random movements. The girl slams the sword on the ocean and triggers tall waves on both sides of her. Then camera zooms out to reveal as the tall waves form. Once we have all the clips we want, we can press preview to look at the video as a whole. And we can exit this editor anytime. This project will always be here and we can go back into the editor. Once it's good, we can just download the video. Then I'll just do some touch-ups in CapCut and then we're done. Thank you for watching. Hope you'll have a lot of fun with the Story Builder. If you want to play with the Story Builder, you can claim 3000 credits by going to this link. This is my new channel. I would really appreciate a subscribe and a like from you. It'll really help keep me going. I'll see you next time. Yeah,